and um, Marla was maybe the only kid about her age that was on this particular boat. That would have probably been the that would have been the uh, steel recorder. Steel I think. recorder, and so she was. Um, she'd go by the captain's table, and he he didn't quite say her name right, but whatever he called her, it was close, and she answered, and she'd go by, and he'd give her something, some piece of candy or a cookie or something, and uh, so the captain always noticed her when she'd come around. Well, there were a couple of, uh, or maybe it was just one elderly woman that sat at the captain's table. And uh, she didn't like Marla coming around there and getting the captain's attention for a minute or two. The, uh, and she said, I heard her say something about it. I was, you know, uh, looking for Marla because I knew that she'd uh, <coughs> probably gone in there and this woman was uh, spouting off about this little girl and she, she didn't want the captain's attention be to anybody but her. <laughs> <laughs> was she his wife? And no. all, she was a passenger on the boat. Uh -huh. I guess that was when we were going back to India and uh, it was. we went on a, was it a passenger boat? The, um, on that ship, every evening, the, the cook or whoever stocked the refrigerator there in the galley uh, with platters of cheese slices and luncheon slices so that the night crew could go in there and uh, fix themselves a sandwich or something. Well, we boys learned about it. So every night before we went to bed, we'd go down and make ourselves a sandwich with lots of cheese and luncheon slices, you know, I'm beef, beef slices, beef slices. <laughs> and uh, we, in, we really ate up on that thing. By the time we got to, uh, Got to uh, India, I had gained so much weight on that boat. I was, I weighed as much as Charles did, and he was three years older than me. It's the only time in my life that I, you know, until we were adults, that I weighed anything near him. I was always, you know, much smaller. But I got, I was really fat when we got off that boat. <laughs> it was a good life on that ship, then wasn't I it? Then I hit the land of rice and curry, and I probably got back to shape pretty soon. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Charles and I both sold donuts when we were in Lincoln. We'd go door to door with boxes with bags of donuts and sell them after <laughs> school. And uh, we earned quite a bit of money, and we had enough money basically to buy bicycles. We wanted bicycles, but we decided to wait till we got to India because it wouldn't be easy to take the bikes with us. So when we got to India, uh, Dad used our money and helped us to buy bicycles. So we soon worked off our fat from that ship with our bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know what he, how he gained so much weight, Grandma. <laughs> was it was it on the ship that one of the kids was taking piano lessons and you made them practice, or? Oh no, that's another story, no, I guess. It's a no, okay. You think they were ham sandwiches, ham slices? No, they were beef. I don't think they were ham. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they were beef. But uh, we had beef and cheese sandwiches to go to bed with every night. <laughs>